So in this video, I'm going to talk about the market in Fimo Ball 22. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So as you know already, we have just got our weekend ranking rewards, of course. In the weekend ranking, uh, some people got one link, some people got other thing, but most people have got to 0.1 to 5% in high tier division and they've got 102 overall player, 102 overall plus player for free. This made pretty much all the players, all the FIFA World Cup event players go down in price. Last week we had De Jong, Koulibaly and Hurricane. I actually managed to pack Hurricane last week and um, I managed to sell him for about 20 million coins. By then that was a good price for me because after I sold him he went down in price to like 16, 17 mil. But right now as you can see he still went up in price quite a bit. Like he, he did go up in price uh, to like 24 million coins right now. So I did make a, a li little bit of a mistake. But right now Lionel Messi, uh, Mbappé, Lewandowski, they have all three of them have gone down in price as you can see. And the reason be behind that is that a lot of people have got those players have packed them from weekend ranking rewards. Not only them, but obviously the one of our overall players like Delaney has dropped down in price a lot. There is a huge market crush right now. Di Maria, the same thing. Di Maria is this week's player, of course. Varane, he's 16 mil. He used to be like 36 mil, as you can see. And whenever the weekend ranking uh, event or weekend ranking players packs uh, came came about, they went down in price a lot. Same thing with Chuameni. Uh, same thing with McKennie. Pretty much all these players, of course. And this week's players, obviously, we've got, as I said, one of five overall. Di Maria was there. Varane. I think they are going to go up in price. Di Maria is, I think, a very, very good investment. If you buy Di Maria, it's definitely going up in price. Uh, with Lewandowski, Messi and Mbappe, I don't know quite uh, quite that much, but I, I feel like all three of them are going to go up in price as well. I think these are very, very good investments. Uh, but uh, they are they are quite good investments. But I think Di Maria is, is a very, very nice investment as well as Rafael Varane. I think those two are 100% going to go up in price. So if you want to make some coins, make sure to buy those. Sterling, Sterling is a decent one as well, but uh, he uh, he's obviously last week's last week's card. I still think he's gonna go up in price as well. Um, then we've got one of our overall one Dyke, last week's players, of course. Uh, last week pl week's player, of course. Obviously, he went down a lot in price because of weekend ranking, and I think he's gonna go up as well. That's one Dyke, right? He has to go up in price. Mane, Mane is a little bit interesting because it goes up and down quite a bit still think he's gonna go up in price though we got one of our 104 overall players of course as well martinez no chance he's gonna go up 103s aren't to the dark great gareth bale and dyer as well as that's like one of our overalls aren't really the best ones to invest in i think one of our overalls and 106 overall event players the world cup event players they're quite good to good to invest in as i said as you can see with Hurricane, for example, I said that I sold him for 20 mil and he went down to like 18 mil on, in my market anyways. Um, and he wasn't selling for 20 mil, I know that for sure. Now he's 24 mil. Some, someone just sold him for 24 mil. Uh, same, thing with Kuli, uh, same thing with De Jong and Koulibaly. So, as I said, I think it's a very, very nice investment if you invest in 106 overall players. Mbappe, Messi and Lewandowski, as I said, they're quite quite more expensive than Kane, De Jong and Koulibaly were, but they're also more popular players, of course. So I think they are still gonna go up in price. But as I said, Di Maria and Waran, I think those are two like incredibly good investments. I think they're 100% gonna go up in price. I might just go ahead and buy Di Maria right now. I'm very, very confident he's gonna go up as well as Waran. Waran, I can't really buy him right now, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna try to buy him uh, quite soon. Other than that, as I said, 104 or lowers, I wouldn't buy any of them. There are so many of these in the market already that, yeah, they're just too much supply for them. They're, they're just so, too much supply. But also, uh, because these players came out, this made other event players go up and uh, go down in price a, a lot as well. There is a big market crush, as I said. If you go, for example, in Scream Team Chapter, we don't have too many high overall players there. This may might not have been the best example, but I'm gonna go into another another event and I'm uh, gonna show you there as well. If you go, for example, in Kick of Ravel, it's the pine, uh, pinnacle players. As you can see, Schmeichel went down in price a lot. Um, he used to be a lot more. After after this event came out, they are just going down in price. Dybala or Dybala, sorry, I'm pronouncing his name wrong, 
Rudiger, like every single one of them are going down in price. Casemiro, you can see how much the price the price change, right? And I remember them being a lot higher, high, a lot, a lot, a lot more pricey than they are right now. Uh, the other event players as well. Uh, who do we have? Neon Knights. Neo, in Neo Knights, not many high overall players, of course, once again. But they did go down in price as well. Uh, there was David. David is now 5 million coins. It used to be like 15 mil, something like that. A lot of these cards are going down in price, as I said. So, in the World Cup chapter, make sure to invest in, first of all, I think, as I said, 105 overall Varane and 105 overall Di Maria are some of the best investments you can make right now. The line is not bad either, but I don't really think he's gonna go up in price. Di Maria and Varane are more popular players. But I also think Mbappe, Messi and Lewandowski are gonna go up in price as well. As you can see, we have just got this Di Maria right now. I'm actually gonna put him in my team as well. I'm 100% gonna put him in my team. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, I'm gonna change my formation. I'm 100% gonna change my formation, but yeah, he's 100% going up in price. Obviously, I had this team changed up, the positions were messed up because of the mid-tier weekend ranking chapter. You you probably know that already if you're watching my channel, but here we go. This is the team I was going with, and Di Maria definitely goes into that right right wing spot. But I might just even transfer trans, transfer one of the, one of my player ranks into Di Maria and upgrade him even more. Um, let's go ahead and end this video by opening a couple of packs though, because that's always what I that's what I do all the time in this event, right? I always open those packs. Right. Let me go ahead and end this video by that. Let me know down in the comment section if you are investing in any of the if in any of the players right now, in any of the cards. Obviously, from these packs, I do have a chance to back those. 105, 106 of raw players, 104s, every single one of them. And also let me know what you got from your from your weekend ranking. Rewards as well. I go Emiliano Martinez, 103 overall. Wasn't happy with that. Last week I go Hurricane, as I said, I was happy with that. I'm not, I wasn't happy with Emiliano Martinez, but it is what it is, I guess. Right, let's go ahead and get that 90 plus overall player. And let's try to get Mbappe, Messi, or Lewandowski, or Varane, or even uh, Di Maria. Get Di Maria. We'll take any of them. Um, let's go. We got, we got skill boost this time. I need 1500 gems as well. I'll 100% take 1500 gems as well. Right, two mid rank items. Okay, I'm gonna save some of them for the later videos and I'm not getting anything great with this. That's pretty much it, right? Make sure obviously to claim all this as well. I, most of the time, I can't lie. Like some, sometimes I forget to claim these stadium rewards. I could have got a lot more gems and stuff like that, but yeah, make sure to claim these every single 12 hours, of course. For example, in the last two days, I, I think I forgot to claim it two times, which is which is not not good. I lost like a thousand gems by that only. Um, so yeah, make sure to claim this every single twelve hours. Um, and yeah, this is gonna be the end of the video, guys, for today. Then make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and peace.